Hello. A lot of students at secondary two uh, had to decide between physics or biology. Okay, so today's presentation will focus on the difference between these two, uh, focusing on aptitude, passion, and aspiration. All right, so I hope after this presentation, you have a clearer idea on the differences and make the right choice for yourself. Now, my presentation is divided into three sections. Number one, relevant topics learned at secondary one and two. Okay, so I'm going to highlight some of the topics that you have learned that will be covered again in the upper secondary physics or biology syllabus. As mentioned, I will talk about aptitude, passion versus aspiration. And some of the career choices that you may consider with regard to the two subjects. What are the relevant topics learned at lower secondary science? For biology, they are cells, transport system, digestive system, sexual reproduction in humans and ecosystem. Of course, at upper secondary biology and later on at A level, you will learn much more. So if having exposed to these topics and you kind of enjoy it, then you may consider biology. For physics, these are the relevant topics learned at lower secondary science that will be covered again at upper set physics and later on A-level physics. They are physical quantities, units and measurements, forces, energy, work and power, light, sound, transfer of thermal energy, electrical system and practical electricity. Of course, some of you who are in IP schools or selected schools may cover more topics than this. All right, your teacher will have highlighted to you the relevant topics uh, that are physics or biology. Now, what is aptitude? Aptitude is your ability, your performance. So you have to ask yourself this question from all the common tests, examination or class test results. Are you doing better with the physics topics all the biology topics. Okay, I'm not saying that, oh, because I'm good in physics, so I have to choose physics. No, no, no. I'm just trying to list out all the possibility. I'm just helping you to think a bit more thorough, all right, in helping you to make a better decision. Am I strong in mathematics or better with remembering facts? I need to highlight to you here. Biology is not just about memorizing facts. That is a big misconception. I think all the bio teachers will agree with me. Okay? And physics is not just about math. I also need to highlight this and all the physics teachers will agree with me. All right? For biology at upper secondary, you will be exposed to data analysis questions as well. All right? You need to have strong critical thinking skills analyze problems and solve problems as well, okay? It's not just about memorizing, it's about how you apply your concepts, your knowledge and theories to the application. So there are more real life applications in biology. For physics, yes, there is mathematics. For example, in the topic of um, drawing vectors, uh, you need to apply Pythagoras theorem you may need to apply your trigonometry rules, sine, cosine, tangent rules to determine the angle and the length. Yes, there are some mathematical equations that you may need to apply, but that's not all what physics is all about. All right, you need to understand concepts. You need to apply the concepts in real-life application as well. So the questions at upper secondary are, uh, even more focused on real life applications, how you apply what you learn in the syllabus, in your content to real life situations. So there'll be a range of questions from interpreting a diagram to data analysis, like interpreting graph, table, and how you can uh, relate your knowledge to perhaps some of the current issues, current applications in real life, okay? Of course, you also have to ask yourself this question. Are you strong with uh, applying formula? Because in physics, 
Yes, there are many questions that may not involve equations, but there are also a handful of questions that need you to use formula equation to solve problem. Yes, there's still a handful of questions that need you to do that. So if you are not very strong in that, maybe physics may not be your choice. Okay, but come to biology, uh, yes, much less formula compared to physics. Okay, much, much less. Um, if you remember what you learned at lower set science, you don't really use any formula equations in biology topics. All right, not much. Uh, the calculation can be done uh, very easily without any formula even. All right, uh, quite straightforward. At most, they ask about percentage or fraction, that kind of thing in uh, the topic of ecosystem. And maybe just do simple counting, counting the, uh, the, the fertile period in the menstrual cycle, for example, in biology. All right, so, but in biology, there is um, need for you to remember details in processes. Are you able to remember all the keywords and link them together properly with the correct sentence structure? Uh, biology teachers are also very particular about singular and plural. There's a difference between stoma and stomata, for example. All right. Are you comfortable with label diagram? Because in biology, there are many label diagrams for you to uh, label them and know their functions. Okay. So are you comfortable with that? All right. So you have to ask yourself this question. Next, passion. Am I more interested in physics or biology? So a uh, student who is more interested in physics is very uh, intrigued by a uh, phenomenon of light. Wow. Oh, I'm very interested to understand uh, how, um, how the different colors of light are formed, for example. Or I'm very interested to understand uh, how this machine works. See, that is actually physics. All right, you need physics background. Uh, which uh, is related to engineering to understand how the machine works, how does it, uh, how, what are the forces and what are the um, mm, turning effect or force maybe involved in, in this particular scenario, this particular application, all right? Or you're very interested in uh, electricity, you want to understand how you can actually set up a circuit, all right? Biology, if you are very interested in studying the human body or even plants, okay, just let you know that you may not be exposed to a lot of plant-related topics at lower set, but at upper set, biology, there will be a more, uh, more topics involving plant. For example, you only learn the digestive system, the human digestive system, but you never learn plant nutrition. Okay, some schools may have covered it, but most of the schools never cover that at lower set science. So be prepared that you need to know more of that. You enjoy sexual reproduction in biology at lower set. Yes, that will be covered again, upper set in more detail, but you also need to know a sexual reproduction in plants as well. So I'm telling you that uh, it's not just about animal, animal. All right, there are also uh, content related to plant uh, in the more details at upper secondary bio. So you get prepared for that. It's not just about animals. There's also plants to study, right? Yeah. Aspiration, we'll be interested in pursuing course related to physics or biology in future. So I'm going to show you uh, currently the course requirements for uh, the university and polytechnic. Okay, I start with the university. But before that, I need to tell you biology is no longer a compulsory subject for admission into medical school at local universities. I'm not sure about the other universities in the world. Okay, they may need biology or need an admission test. I'm not very sure about that because they may change over time. But currently in Singapore, you do not need biology, but you need two science subjects, chemistry, physics, chemistry, or biology. Chemistry is compulsory. All right. Now, uh, but personally, personally, I will feel that uh, it will be helpful to take biology because yes, it may not be a compulsory subject, but I feel that understanding the human system and uh, the molecular biology 
in A level will be helpful to a certain extent compared to physics. Okay. Yes, both subjects train and develop your mind, your critical thinking skills. But in terms of content, I'm sure biology is closer to medicine. All right, that's my personal uh, take. Lah. You can just ignore what I say if you don't agree with me. All right. So if you are very determined to become a doctor, a dentist, or do pharmacies, something related to medical, maybe biology is a good choice. I mean, if you are very interested in the medical field, I don't think you will decide biology. All right. No, I'm not trying to promote biology here. Okay, I'm just suggesting based on personal experience. Okay, for university, uh, one let you take note that in the past when I was still a student, I'm quite old now, near 40. Uh, so at my time when I was at your age, all right, biology is a compuls compulsory subject for admission to medical school. You need chem, physics, and bio, and math. You need all of them. All right, now, uh, even for engineering courses, you need physics for most if not all the courses, if I remember correctly. And uh, some of the applied science courses, you also need physics. They're quite stringent about it. But now I see that they are a bit more relaxed in terms of the subject requirements. So only certain, very few engineering course, I'm saying in terms of Singapore context, as well as applied science courses and physics will need physics. All right, you can check out at the relevant websites at NUS, NTU for more information. Okay, this is the most updated information I extracted from the websites. Causes that require biology will be forensic science in NUS and life science. All right. For polytechnic, it's even more flexible. Even we are background in physics, you can pursue an engineering course. Yeah, as long as you have a science subject, you don't need uh, you don't need physics, okay? Not even combined physics. As long as you have a science subject, it could be pure chemistry, pure biology, or combined chemistry and biology, you still can opt for engineering course at the um, polytechnic. As for biomedical related or life science course, there's no need to have a background in biology, okay? Chemistry is more important but that is not a compulsory requirement as well. As long as you have a science subject, that would be fine, all right? Okay, so I hope my presentation will uh, uh, help you make a wise choice, all right? So uh, the ministry has been very, uh, very active in, in informing students about subject combinations so that you make the right choice at this time, okay? Um, and they try to actually loosen, in a way, uh, the requirement in terms of the subject requirement for admissions. You can see that things have changed. So what is emphasized now is not really the subject content, but the critical thinking skills that are developed in the course. So as long as you take a science course, you'll be fine. But based on the requirement, it seems that chemistry is the most important science subject in terms of admission. Okay, because without chemistry, you can not admit into, let's say, um, chemical engineering course, medicine, med medicine, you can just forget about it. Dentistry, no. Uh, life science, I think not also. I think so. So a lot of courses uh, in university require chemistry. Yeah, that's more than physics and biology. So do not worry so much. Even let's say, right, at the end of the day, you choose uh, physics. Okay, but you are interested in taking, uh, you want to become a doctor. So after your A-level, you think that, oh, I want to go to medicine school. Then it's okay, you don't need biology. Or if let's say, oh, I, I didn't take, you know, physics. I want to take engineering course at uni. It's fine, you still can take engineering course. So don't worry, you will still get admitted. But uh, my take is, uh, my take is, my take is, if let's say they allow you to get into, um, let's say electrical engineering course at university, all right. Um, if you do not do not have physics and do not, um, do not know about electrical system, then it will be a bit problematic. Lah. So that's my advice. Although in terms of prerequisite, they did not stop you, but my advice is, it will be wise 
to choose the subject. Okay, it's up to you really. Yeah, so personally, I feel that you should roughly know what are some of the courses you want to take at university and work backwards to determine your combination. Okay, so that's it for my presentation. I hope you benefited and any question, just feel free to ask me. Thank you.